Hi, what's up? What's up, YouTubers? Barbie 60th anniversary fashion Easter doll. So each of these dolls are representing each iconic dolls over the years, except for the disability Ken on the far right with their earplugs. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. But let's talk about these dolls. These dolls are supposed to be representing each characters, where it is Peaches and Cream, Tony Hair, Barbies and Ken, Barbie and the Rockers, Twists and Curls, you know, etc. It's a cute concept of poor execution. And this is an example. This Tony Hair Barbie on the one on the left is the reproduction I got her back in 2017. Now on the right, she's supposed to be inspired by the Tony Hair Barbie. The only thing is the dress pattern. The dress pattern is like a toddler's cutout dress. And that the hair is not even that long. Like, where's the motherfucking length? And they're using this born old milli screeny sculpt. Cute concept, but poor execution. Let's talk about a good execution. This is back in 2010. They did a Super Bar Superstar Barbie play line inspiration cute concept a good execution it's it's a little more modernized toy comps are still doing ruppable bendable legs except for Mattel with these silly ass miscues see this is a good concept this is how Barbie fashion is supposed to look like a good execution now compared to this mm -mm. now this was a good execution for example because compared to now nah. Here's another example, 1959 to 2009, cute concept, great execution. Now, 1959 to 2024, now Mattel, what the fuck we went from? We went from glam 2009 to Starcraft and very bland. See, Millie cannot compete with definitely Mackie. And this was a, Mackie was used on Playline dolls from the past too. So we went from 1959 to 2004. This is supposed to be elevated. Poor execution. This is the Tully Hair Inspiration Ken. Now why the hell they gonna give him a molded on glitter on wig? At least give him a rooted hair, especially trying to be inspired by the Tully Hair Ken. I do like the sweater hoodie, that's about it. They do give him fish hair, it's about time again. The whole concept is very poor, but the idea is cute, but I'm not feeling it. The only thing I like is the hoodie, that's all. Now this is my opinion, Peaches and Cream Inspiration very poor execution the dress is flop what the hell is she's wearing the face looks like a fucking clown pixelate screening i heard she has probably purpling hair this is my opinion if you don't like it go find somewhere else i don't like this now this is the golden dream barbie inspiration again mattel you should have used all that money you made from that damn movie and put some budget into these dolls, especially making these great dolls more elevated, especially for Barbie's 65th anniversary. Like, the jumpsuit is cute, the boots is cute, but everything else is just, nah. These fashion Easter dolls today were supposed to be retail at $17, especially with the good quantity compared to the Superstar Barbie 2010 doll inspiration. These are very disappointing for her 65th anniversary. Not really feeling this one. Here is the second fashion Easter Ken doll. So supposed to be inspired by some cowboy Ken doll from the 1980s. Again, these fashion Easter's are designed by preschoolers. It's just the concept with printed on, you know, details added. And I understand, you know, you have to raise the price up to have better quality. They do kind of have some very odd, weird faces. Now, the kids from the 2000s and the 90s had the best smile scope, but this one kind of off. Anyway, let's do a comparison with the 14 years difference. I personally don't, wouldn't even know this is a superstar Barbie's reference. Now, compared to 2010, they did a good job on that. But fast forward 14 years later, I don't see it. Plus, she has molded on flat feet no pink high heels what the fuck is it this dress looks like it's belong for toddlers 
is looks like it's dressed for a preschool I'm not really feeling it so anyway we also have more dolls coming along is the black Barbie inspiration she is cute I might get her I'm, I'm not sure so how you feel about the 65th anniversary Barbies and this one's supposed to be superstar Barbie really disappointment like comment share and subscribe thank you have a great night